You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, witnessed the Bahrain Rugby Club and Dubai Exile Teams in the West Asia Premiership Bahrain Round. In the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, the Ambassadors of the United States of America, the UK, France, Italy, and Japan, as well as the President of the Bahrain Rugby Club, Mike Congham. Before the meeting, His Highness took a minute of silence to mourn the death of the Bahrain Rugby Club team player Town Desme then shook hands with the players of the Dubai Club team Exiles, the players of the Bahrain Rugby Club and members of the technical and administrative staff and the arbitration team for the match. His Highness affirmed the importance of hosting and organizing such events in order to raise Bahrain's profile regionally and globally and to promote sports in Bahrain. His Highness added that sports represent an avenue through which Bahrain's positive image can be projected to the world and an optimal mean through which the country's values of tolerance, diversity and friendship of nations can be further established. His Highness added that hosting these events prove of the confidence of the Sports Federation in the Kingdom's organizing capabilities in the fields of sports. What we have hold is increased efforts in the purpose of continuing on a distinguished path of hosting the sports championships and reflect the excellent image of Bahrain and the ability to organize worldwide sport championships. His Highness then toured the Bahrain Rugby Club's facilities where he examined the newest sports facilities and was briefed by the Bahrain Rugby Club General Manager Mike Cunningham on the activities and events events that are being organized by the club throughout the year and on an annual basis. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad then viewed aside from the youth sports activities being held by the club and confirmed on exploring and evolving these talents. His Highness then received a commemorative gift from Cunningham on behalf of the border members of the Bahrain Rugby Club for His Highness's visit to the tournament and the club. The Minister of Youth and Sports, Ayman and Mu'ayyad, praised His Highness's presence in the rugby match, which confirms His Highness's concerns towards supporting the Bahraini sport movement and its vision towards the diplomatic sports with ambassadors have attended the game, considering a bright future for the Bahraini sports, assuring hosting and organizing sports activities is important to highlight the Kingdom's achievements in various fields. In the presence of the Vice Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, organized a 15th horse race meeting at the racetrack of Sakhir, which was held over the Al Sharif Group Cups, the Crown Industries Cup, the Ali Sprint Cup, and Wahoo Cup for Arabian horses. Also present were Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, the President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hisham bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and horse racing fans. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa presented the trainer Abdullah Kwaiti with the trophy of the World Cup. Isa Khalid Al Sharif crowned Sheikh Isa bin Aid bin Salman Al Khalifa for winning the third round. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa for winning the fourth round. And His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa for winning the sixth round. Abdullah Isa Najibi presented the trophies of the Crown Industries Cup to owner Abdullah Fawzi Nas for winning the second round and owner Nasr Ali Al Mu'min for winning the fifth round. Sheikh Isa bin Aid bin Salman Al Khalifa presented the trophy of Al Ali Sprint Cup to winner trainer James Naylor.
The Speaker of the Representative Council, Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal, met with the Speaker of Jordan's House of Representatives, Atif Tarawna, during the meeting of the Bahraini Parliamentary Delegation, which was on the sidelines of the 30th Emergency Conference of the Arab Interparliamentary Union, the APU. Zainal stressed the depth of the long-standing fraternal Bahraini-Jordanian relations, thanks to the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan, lauding Jordan's honorable stances in support of Bahrain's policies at all levels. The Speaker stressed that the Palestinian issue tops Bahrain's interests, noting that His Majesty King Hamad's speeches at various gatherings affirmed that support and underlined the Palestinians' rights to set up their independent state. She indicated that the Council of Representatives is keen to interact positively with everything related to the Palestinian issue through the available constitutional mechanisms, noting that it has been the first Arab legislative council to have formed a permanent parliamentary committee to support the Palestinian people. For his part, the Jordanian speaker lauded the solid brotherly Bahraini Jordanian Jordanian relations expressing pride in the ongoing coordination between the two countries vis-a-vis -vis various regional and global issues. He hailed the role played by Bahrain to enhance the role of parliamentary diplomacy at various regional and international gatherings, which he said contributes to strengthening relations with brotherly and friendly countries. The president of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the activities of the International Publishing and Book Exhibition in Casablanca, organized under the patronage of His Majesty King Mohammed VI. Within the activities of the exhibition, Sheikh Hamay gave a lecture on the investment project in culture, which was launched in 2006 by the Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research, and then moved to the formal sector. She highlighted the most important culture investment achievements, including the establishment of the Bahrain National Theater. Which with the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Bahrain Fort Museum with the support of our capita and many others. She also noted Bahrain's experience in strengthening culture infrastructure in cooperation with the private sector and within the investment project in culture, pointing out that the kingdom has experienced in creating pioneering culture initiatives as the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities has established a network of museums and visitor centers in various regions in Bahrain. She stated that Bahrain's efforts to create a distinct cultural structure contribute to the kingdom winning international awards over the past years, the last of which was the revitalization of Muharraq project, which won the 2019 Aga Khan Award for Architecture. She noted that culture acts as a driving force for urban development and providing job opportunities and attracting investors and visitors, noting that investing in culture in terms of tourism makes it an alternative economic resource and a guarantee for the continuation of sustainable development in societies and an element of prosperity. The exhibition offers more than 100,000 books titles in various languages and is witnessing the participation of more than 700 exhibitors from 42 countries around the world. The King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, represented by its Board of Trustees, Chairman Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and this is Bahrain President Betsy Matheson, attended the, today the 68th Annual National Prayer Breakfast. The event was attended by U.S. President Donald Trump, Vice President Mike Pence, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, and House of Representative Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Thousands of U.S. clerks, policymakers, and businessmen gathered at the annual National Prayer Breakfast to speak about faith and religious freedom while creating an opportunity for the religious community to build fruitful relationships with political and commercial communities. Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa met the U.S. Secretary of State and highlighted the efforts being exerted by the Kingdom of Bahrain to consolidate the principles of religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence. He also held a meeting with the U.S. Ambassador at Large for International Religious Freedom and Republican Party member Saun Bronback, with whom he discussed the Kingdom's tireless efforts in promoting peaceful coexistence. Ambassador Brownback expressed his strong desire to participate in the next roundtable meeting in Manama, describing the previous roundtable hosted by Bahrain last December as one of the best meetings ever held in the region and at the world level, citing the size and quality of the attendees, including senior religious leaders, economic, business, culture and intellectual figures in addition to prestigious diplomatic and social figures. On the occasion, Sheikh Khalid underlined the commitment of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence to launching quality programs and plans to achieve its goals of promoting the values of religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence as well as rejecting hatred at the region.
regional and global levels. The American invitation of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence to attend the 68th annual National Prayer Breakfast was in recognition of the great efforts it is making at the local, regional and global levels to advance the values of tolerance, moderation, coexistence and peace and harmony, as well as the promotion of religious freedoms everywhere and anytime. It also reflects the appreciation of the U.S. government's institutions, NGOs and religious organizations for the role played by Bahrain in denouncing violence and hatred through consolidating interfaith dialogue on the basis of tolerance and acceptance of the other, regardless of their sectarian affiliation or religious beliefs. The Ministry of Works completed last year 21 projects in construction and maintenance project sector, including upgrading government buildings and schools in Bahrain. The administration, concerned with the construction and maintenance of government buildings, is keen on ensuring its safety and longevity of its virtual lifespan, as well as supervising them and providing other government ministries with technical consultancy regarding maintenance contracts. The government buildings must follow the quality standards and specifications for green buildings and schools, social centers and ministries, which is done through the process of evaluating and awarding building maintenance tenders to specialized contractors. The ministry is keen to use the latest technologies and materials of highest quality.